Hello and welcome to this introduction to the making sense of mathematics materials for GCSEs teaching from 2010, mainly for the pilot GCSEs in applications of mathematics and methods in mathematics, but these resources are also suitable for single GCSE. First of all, I just want to give you some of the ideas behind the resources. They're based on a system of mathematics education called Realistic Mathematics Education, which has been well researched, particularly in Holland, but also used in other countries. And as you might guess from the title, realistic situations are used to develop maths. There isn't an emphasis on algorithms and learning methods. The emphasis is on students making sense through guided reinvention. And that doesn't mean that they discover the maths for themselves. It means that you as the teacher guide them by using the materials. And so it's important that you understand where the materials are going and how they're going to get there, which is why we've put these videos together to help you to see where these resources are heading. Most maths materials use context and often that may be used to motivate students at the start of a topic or to introduce some more difficult problems towards the end of a topic or to show students places where maths might be used in real life. Now in these resources context is used in a slightly different way to help pupils make sense of the topic and so that they can see that maths is close to the reality that they understand. Now that reality may be things that they do in their everyday lives, it may be things that are familiar to them from television or whatever, but the context is a source of the maths rather than a place for the mathematics to happen. It, the context helped the students get into the maths and so the students do need to engage with the context and to move between the context and the maths that they're doing so that they can see that it makes sense to do the problems in the particular way in which they're doing them. Now they may well start using very informal methods to solve problems and you may well want them to get onto more formal and efficient methods. Now in order to do that these resources provide students with models to help them progress in their understanding. And these models come out of the context and you'll see some practical examples of the way in which that happens in the next sections of the video as you're talked through particular chapters of the resources. 